but Gressel is favored there because of his relationship with Tots Martino and the three assists he had last weekend. Lassiter and Juan, very dynamic and explosive wide. Schwaner and Piet, the engine room that pushes the tempo. Early on in the MLS season. Underway at Chase Stadium, Inter Miami in the pink, CF Montreal in the blue and the black. Chouanier can start the transition as he sends it long for Kokoro. Calendar off his line. Oh, he missed it. Goal open. Kokoro is there to open the scoring. Kokoro, patient. Kokoro! What defending from Inter Miami to keep it scoreless. A wonderful opportunity missed by CF Montreal to go up on the road. Lassiter, another dangerous one in. They score anyway. Montreal. 90 seconds ago, this is from the other side, but an in-swinging ball again. And the Colombian under 20 is quicker than every inner Miami player to that ball. It feels like the balance is off a little bit because Redondo's got the vision and the technical ability to open up the field. Capana, Jordi Alba behind Jordi Alba. The flag is up. He is offside. It will be checked. For now, no goal. Left shoulder from Jordi Alba. This is your number nine with the technique to play that ball over the top. I think the assistant referee gets it correct. But that's where Campana just gives you so much of this little technical ability. He looks like a traditional nine. He plays as a nine, but he has a little bit more mobility, technical ability to open up the game. Everything's season pass. Kokoro behind Kristoff. Kokoro saved by Calendar. Kokoro's back on it, though. Oh, Kokoro goes down, trying to draw the penalty. It's not given. It's cleared for a throw. They've had a few opportunities getting in behind, and I think that's what Tato Martino is going to say going into the break. This is one for Gressel. Good ball. Taylor off the bar. So close for Inter Miami again. With a new identity, new system, five minutes going into halftime, it is imperative that they don't give up a tying goal here. Avila sending it. Taylor! Right at Sirwa. Uh, further up the field. Now Duke's got to defend a little bit deeper. Here Look is at Allen coming forward. Allen, Campana turning. Campana right at Sirwa. And there is the halftime whistle. Fernando Alvarez in the 13th minute, the lone goal of the half. Montreal with the best of the play in the first 15 minutes. They created the goal. Because I was talking about Inter Miami now having the two center backs step into the midfield, provide an option. You know how you combat that? Throw in another center forward. So now Allen and Alvarez can't be so. Noah Allen. Taylor is certainly offside. The flag is down for now. Taylor is in. An opportunity for Robert Taylor. And now the flag comes up as Campana puts it in. It will be offside. It was a long wait from Alexander Arita, the assistant referee on this near side, though. Several yards offside. Well, the idea is there. We saw it late in that first half. The high line trying to be compact from Montreal. He's doing a real good job, Robert Taylor, of getting in behind. Interestingly enough, though, the assistant referee raised the flag before the play finished. Again, it's Taylor to the near post again, and Martinez, the defensive header away. Taylor slides it, Sunderland. Sunderland floating it, back post over Sirwa, and in! Campana! Miami finally find the way through. Starting in place of Luis Suarez, Leonardo Campana equalizes for Inter Miami, 1-1. In his first two years in MLS, his first one in 2024 is a big one. It's one. Take your chances. They will come back to haunt you. Thursday night, Alex Muriel could have had four goals. Schwanier for Montreal. Oh! They do get the lead right back off the set piece. It's Kokoro. His first goal for Montreal, just like that. CF Montreal ahead again, two to one. Definitely looks like he keeps Kokoro in an onside position.
Here they go. Martinez, a chance against his former team. Martinez leaves it. Deflection. And then Ibrahim. Montreal, only three wins in the last 19 games away from Quebec. Majors have their second win in a row. Busquets to Gomez. Now Allen clipping it. High in the air from Juan. Gomez, Corbo both there. This is Jordi Alba! Oh, what a goal from Jordi Alba! And Inter Miami is right back in it. Three to two. And inside the stadium, because there's quality all over the field. Initially not dealing with the first ball well. The ball bounces around. How about this for technique? How about this for quality? And how about this for Jordi Alba and in Inter-Miami saying, hang on a minute. There's 10 plus minutes left. It's 3-2. Flicked on by Juan. Not clear though. Suarez around Juan. Suarez clipping it off the bar. I think that was deflected. The referee couldn't tell. He's given a goal kick. Suarez takes on Huan and watch the ball in the spin of the ball that's deflected. 100% deflected. And that's why you see the reaction from Inter Miami players. You can tell from the spin of the ball immediately when it's hit. Why not? Absolutely. There's no reason for him to be tucked in on the left side. Ruiz to the back post. Campana knocking it. Borgel in. And again. Chances abound for Inter Miami in their first two games, both away from home to start this season, and make it seven in three. CF Montreal comes down to South Florida and deals Inter Miami its first loss of 2024. What a start to the season.